I feel like an idiot because I literally just recorded this whole video. I went through my whole thing. Talked about what I was going to talk about. And I looked at my phone and I wasn't even recording. The camera was not on. So now I have to do this all over again. Anyway, what's up YouTube? Today I'm here to talk about this guy right here. Max. Goofy son, Max. His name is Max Goof. So therefore, Goofy's name is Goofy Goof. Actually, Goofy's real name, well, first name was Dippity Dog. So therefore, he is a dog, not a cow. Check this video over here. He is a dog. Anyway, that's that video. I'm not talking about this today. Today I'm talking about Max. Now, when you watch Goof Troop, we see that Max is raised by Goofy, who is a single father. Or his mother. Now, we also see Pete raising two kids. Do you see the mother of that one? I think so. I, th I, I think we do see Pete's uh, wife. But we never see Goofy's wife. What happened to her? I'm here to find out. So cue the intro. So, originally we see Goofy as Dippy Dog, like I said, and then we see these sort of cartoons uh, where he developed into a character known as George Geef before he became Goofy. When he became Goofy, he became Goofy, and then we had these shorts where, you know, he would do these how-to videos. Like how to ski and how to do this, how to do that. And he would always mess up. And it would be more kind of like what not to do. Anyway, that was Goofy's character where he became, you know, known as Goofy. And then progressed into the future to having Max. But in between that process of becoming Goofy and having Max, we also see him as George Geef. Where he's this, you know, average man. You know, has a wife, has a job, and shows a stressful day to day about living, as we all do. Uh, there's a video of him, you know, there's a whole video concept of uh, him basically showing him smoking and doing all stuff that, you know, people do, and, you know, having a job and losing his job and, you know, the struggles of life. And we do see a woman that he's quote unquote married to but we never see her face all we see is images of back of her if you look at the profile she almost seems human like not as much human like as we see with Roxanne I mean all Disney characters are anthropomorphic in a way where they you know the animal characters are anthropomorphic where they you know, are human-like <clears throat> animals. But we do see this one is, it's almost like Goofy is with a human, which actually would connect back to this other theory that I have, where all cartoons are connected and that Roger Rabbit and Rescue Rangers movies are in the same universe where cartoons live among us. And I'm getting off the track here. If you want to watch those videos, uh, you watch them over here. Anyway. So we have George Geef married to this unknown person, which we actually never get the name for. We just know that it's his wife. And in one episode, they have a child. Now, we first see Max appear in a cartoon called 
fathers our people. And he gets a name, Goofy Jr. So literally, he's just called Goofy Jr. He's even had a name Max at that point, which is what I'm getting to later on. So he looks a little different. He has red hair compared to the darker hair now, more like his mother that we see in this picture here. But that doesn't mean it doesn't change. You know, my hair was a lot brighter when I was a kid. It got a little darker and older. Things happen. Whatever. So, we see that Max does have a mother. But where is the mother in Goof Troop? Obviously, you know, she passed away in some form or other. And when we see him in Goof Troop, it's just that, you know, they never mention it and never want to talk about it because, you know, you don't want to do it with kids, really. I mean, obviously, we see Bambi die and lots of deaths in Disney. Anyway, <clears throat> they don't really talk about it in Goof Troop. I mean, it's very tough, you know, kid who's his mother. So, Goofy has to raise him on his own. But why did the name change? Why did it change when George Geef, uh, George Goof Geef, do you get that out? That's a tongue twister in itself. And Goofy Jr. changed to Goofy Goof and Max Goof. Well, there's a dark theory out there that because, you know, if you ever watch these old cartoons of Goofy, they're kind of dark. They show you, like, a slum down guy works his butt off every day and is depressed. Comes home, wife cleans the house, this and that. And, you know, there's a couple cartoons where they do get to arguments about, like, you know, everyday life. There's a dark theory out there that Goofy ended up killing his wife, changing his name. Changing your son's name, moving to a new neighborhood, and that's where we meet Pete, his new neighbor, and Pete has a son that has the same age as Max, and he grew up and basically on own, or you could stay in kind of like winter protection program where they had to move him over. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there that you know. I, I don't know what else to say, really, because they, you know, you have these old cartoons where they show that Max is, has a mom, but then just cuts it off. We don't hear any explanation about it. Whereas, at least with Huey doing Louie's father, we do get an explanation for it. And you can watch that video here where I discuss the Doc family tree. I do explain uh, what happens to Huey Dewey's father. We don't know his name, just like we don't know Max's mother's name. But at least we get a closure of what happened to him. And I'm going to go into that in another video in the future. Anyway, why don't we know these parents' names? You know, obviously, they're play a important role in you know this character's life. We should know. Anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment on below your thoughts on Max's mom, and if you have any theories about what could happen, let me know. Or, if you are a super Disney nerd like I am, and I've watched these cartoons, and saw some information that I didn't see, let me know. See you next time.